The Lakers 2022 offseason is going to be a busy one. And when talking about free agency, they're going to be targeting multiple free agents to complete and build a new roster. Going into this summer, the Lakers will only have six players returning to the roster. Of course, some of these players do have a player option and they might actually opt out. But with the majority of the roster entering free agency as an unrestricted free agent, the Lakers will have at least 9 spots available to sign new players. And this is where Rob Plinka needs to get busy and act now. The players that will be and could be returning are Russell Westbrook, LeBron James of course, Anthony Davis, Talon Hoden Tucker, Kendrick Nunn's on a player option, and Stanley Johnson, who just signed a two-year deal. So now the Lakers have to look in the open free agency and sign players, whether it's bringing them back or new players to surround LeBron James with. The Lakers' salary cap right now is over. They're in luxury. So anybody the Lakers sign in this offseason, the majority of them have to take the veterans' minimum contract. And of course, would have to know that they're coming into a championship opportunity and a championship run, similar to last offseason. But this upcoming summer, things have to be different. They have to execute better and look at last season as kind of a learning step, a stepping stone. And with that being said, Rob Plinka and the Lakers must sign the best free agents possible to, of course, begin the next season. So if you're a big Lakers fan and want to know five free agents they should sign in this upcoming summer, you're going to love this. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. My name is Zoom and I make basketball videos every single day. So if you're new, be sure to hit the subscribe button to not post notifications to not miss any of my upcoming videos. If you watched this video and you loved it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. I would truly greatly appreciate it. Trust me, a like goes a long way. It'll help out the channel a lot. But without wasting any more time, let's talk about the best free agents the Lakers should sign this summer. The first free agent that I do want to mention is an honorary mention, so it won't count towards the five that I'm listing. I'm putting Malik Monk. The Lakers must re-sign Malik Monk and bring him back. In this upcoming summer, he'll be entering free agency with a higher volume, higher interest, higher value, and the Lakers must do whatever they can to bring him back. During this past offseason, the Lakers ended up signing Malik to a one-year veterans minimum contract. And of course, this season, Malik Monk has been one of the bright spots of the Lakers roster. He stepped up, playing plus 25 minutes per game, averaging nearly 14 points per game, and has become even a secondary or third scoring option behind Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook. And of course, with LeBron still being number one, Malik Monk has stepped up, especially when LeBron sat or even when Anthony Davis sat. Malik Monk himself has just said that he wants to stay with the Lakers and would love to come back. But of course, the salary is very important. I do believe that Rob Plinka would definitely love to offer Malik Monk a veteran's minimum deal, but Malik Monk would more than likely want a mid-level exception or even more money. And I do believe if there's another NBA team that can offer him that, he's going to walk. So of course, right now, LeBron, Rob Plinka, even Frank Vogel, do what you gotta do to keep Malik Monk. He's going to be a great six man. He's going to be a great scorer going on if you're going to go for a championship run. Which now moves me on to the first free agent on this list. I'm talking about Gary Harris. Gary Harris, a two-way player in the NBA, entering this summer as a UFA, generated and gained value in the league for being a great defensive and three player. He was on the Denver Nuggets, got traded from Denver to the Orlando Magic, and of course on the Orlando Magic, he's not going to get consistent minutes. They're a simple rebuilding team, building around Jalen Suggs, and Cole Anthony, and that's why Gary Harris does not want to be there. He's not going to resign. He's going to be targeting a team in free agency that, of course, has championship aspirations. And with Gary Harris almost being close to a championship run in 2020, going to the Lakers, where he knows they're still going to be competitive, still going to do whatever they can to win, I do believe he could be a beneficial factor. A big time upgrade in the starting lineup, I do believe, over players like. Avery Bradley that they had this year, even over Austin Reeves, even over Talon Hoden Tucker, Gary Harris would space the floor, play good perimeter defense, and of course bring in some veteran NBA experience. Sign Gary Harris to the veteran's minimum contract. 
The next free agent on this list is Hassan Whiteside, currently of the Utah Jazz. He'll be entering this summer as a UFA. And I do believe summer after summer, he's going to be moved around from teams to simply being a great role player off the bench to being an elite shot blocker. Two years ago, playing on the Portland Trailblazers, playing even for the Miami Heat, Hassan Whiteside built his career on his shot blocking, his high energy, and his size. And with the Lakers this year having a lot of issues with size, they didn't like Dwight Howard. They didn't like DeAndre Jordan. They were playing a lot of small ball. One of the things for sure, they need that interior presence. They won the NBA championship two years ago with good interior defense. And that's where Hassan Whiteside comes in to sign the veterans minimum deal. That is his value. That is his rate. Sign him to a one-year deal. Play off the bench behind Anthony Davis. And even if you need those nightmare defensive lineups of AD and Hassan Whiteside, play both of those players at the same time. They will be a complete nightmare opponent for the opposing offense and that's what I'm trying to say. Whiteside has been linked to the Lakers before in this upcoming summer. Rob Plinker and the Lakers have to execute it immediately. The next free agent on this list is JaVale McGee, currently of the Phoenix Suns, going to be a UFA and unrestricted free agent and of course I like this JaVale McGee signing because of one, JaVale McGee's skills and assets. Two, he comes back to a team that he's familiar with. Remember, JaVale McGee won the NBA championship with the Lakers in 2020 in the NBA bubble. And three, the Lakers need his size. It's a very similar situation to Hassan Whiteside, but I'm saying Hassan Whiteside is more realistic because JaVale McGee would love to re-sign with the Phoenix Suns, but let's say the Suns don't re-sign JaVale. LeBron should bring back JaVale because he was great in the past with LeBron's pick and rolls, the alley-oop drives, and even those backdoor cuts. But one of my favorite aspects about JaVale is his high energy, especially on the offensive glass. The Lakers need someone like that to crash the boards, grab the offensive rebounds, and put it back in. JaVale has an energy, he has that experience, and of course, I do believe he has a lot of value in free agency. The next free agent is a fun one for me, and it's talking about Victor Oladipo, currently of the Miami Heat. Victor Oladipo just returned from a long-term injury, and as of right now, I do believe he's looking for a new spark plug. Oladipo used to be an all-star in the league, getting consistent minutes on the Indiana Pacers, being a reliable plus 20 points per game player. But of course, injuries have kind of made his career take a slight downhill. But now with him being healthy, he needs a fresh new look playing in the bright lights of LA to being a maybe a scorer in the starting lineup or even off the bench. Oladipo has the experience of an all-star and I do believe with a chip on his shoulder, he could be a bang for the buck at the veterans minimum deal. If the Lakers want a score off the bench or even a third or fourth score behind Westbrook and Anthony Davis, Oladipo could be a great fit as he's a good perimeter defender, a good floor spacer and a good finisher. Of course, the only question about Oladipo is can he stay healthy? And if he could, the Lakers getting him would be a bang for the buck. And the last free agent on this list is talking about Joe Ingles, currently of the Portland Trailblazers. I believe Joe Ingles would be a great veteran leader target in this upcoming offseason. Joe Ingles was a part of the Utah Jazz throughout his entire career, basically. But of course, with him just being traded away from the Jazz, they know he's going to be going into free agency and entering a new situation. And with the Lakers needing more of a leader off the bench, especially if they lose Carmelo Anthony, which I do believe they should let Melo walk, Joe Ingles could be a good replacement to being a good playmaker, a good floor spacer, and of course, someone to, of course, bring the energy, bring that vocal leadership that they need behind LeBron because so far they need that energy and so far this season it's proven that has taken a big locker room hit. Joe Ingles is a well-respected NBA player and with him just suffering a torn ACL he should be back during the beginning of the season. But the only question about Joe Ingles is that with him being 34 years old right now, should the Lakers still invest in older veteran players or focus more on younger players in free agency? One thing's for sure though, floor spacing has been a big issue this season for the Lakers. They're going to be targeting a lot of sharpshooters and Joe Ingles is a player in that category and would simply be a great player in a small ball lineup where they push LeBron to even power forward, play Ingles at the small forward and of course Anthony Davis at the center. Joe, I like Joe, and I think the Lakers should give him an opportunity and a chance. He would love it. He would be beneficial in the bright lights of LA. So yes, guys, this wraps up my video today talking about five free agents the Lakers should sign in the 2022 offseason. What's most important to me is I want to know your thoughts. Which of these free agents do you believe is the best target? 
And do you believe there are other better free agent targets out there? Put all your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Let's start a conversation. But other than that, take it easy. God bless. And I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Oh. I got it.